once again, this case comes back to haunt me. What's going on guys, this is Dane here once again. Um, I am here with the NZXT H1 case once again. I am thankful enough because NZXT actually sent me the replacement riser cable and that is something that I've been waiting for for a while. So we're gonna go ahead and get the replacement cable into the case and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Okay, so first thing we need is some tools. Obviously your Phillips screwdriver, I love this thing. This is my Mr. Handy. And now uh, so we need our iFixit kit, which, you know, I love these things. Listen, if you don't have an iFixit kit by now, definitely make sure you get one because these things come in definitely, definitely handy. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove this front panel here. And then we are going to go and remove the back panel. Right. And then we just remove this thing. Hello, beautiful. We need to pretty much remove this entire thing here. This is the riser card, which was causing the problems with the um, fire burns and everything and this is where you can see i made the fix for it and this i need to remove this as well all right so what i just did was i removed the two gpu screws which are these things here as you can see and these were generally right here. I, I can't zoom in with this camera as you can see. I'm trying to um, get this as close as I can here. But these two screws right here are where they came out. Well, these two bolts, not screws. The next thing you need to do is you need to press this latch right here where my thumb is. I'll point to my finger right here. This little white latch. And you press this down. And then you can go ahead and remove the GPU. All right, now this whole thing here, this whole riser cable here is the previous riser cable that needs to come out of the case. Gotta get these out. All right, now we have now remove this part. See how there's multiple holes here? One of these was going like straight into the PCB, which it shouldn't have. And it was causing the uh, issue with the fires and everything. Actually, before I do that, I need to uh, go ahead and open this part. So we gotta take this out. All right, so there we go. The old riser cable is removed, as we can see. And uh, this this bad boy here, this was causing a lot of problems. I'm happy to get rid of this thing. I am extremely happy to get rid of this thing. We're gonna go ahead and open this sucker up. All right, so here's the new riser cable, as we can see. It's pretty good in ZST, I gotta admit. Um, looking at this, I see that the PCB, well, it looks like it's still Swiss cheese, but they actually put some groundy around the hole that uh, should be there. And that's a good thing, so that's, that's pretty decent. Steve from Gamers Nets has actually uh, tested this out before and uh, he saw that there were no issues with it. So this this should be a good uh, a good start. So thank you Nzet Steve for uh, actually putting work into this. We're going to go ahead and replace this now. We got to remove this thing, go in her. And I should dust this out on me here as well because it's pretty dusty. Push her one in. All right, so she's all snug now. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning here.
<laughs> so we can pretty much put this back in here. see we got the nylon screws here I don't know if you guys can see this or not but uh, yeah these things uh, make sure that they line up here and this one on here all right that one's in and then we have to do the same thing for the bottom this one's been kind of stubborn for some reason hopefully I don't break the screw all right, so to put it simple, the only thing you have to do is pop out your old riser cable. You just got to pull the latch here on your motherboard. Well, obviously, first you got to open this up and make sure this is open. Then that way you can access your motherboard. But you got to pull this latch here. This one right here. And then just pull this out of your motherboard. Then... I put the GPU back in already, but then you just uh, string it along the back here. And then you just uh, place this up against the PCB here. Well, not PCB, but up against the uh, chassis here. And then you use the screws, the nylon screws, if they gave you some. If not, then try to get some nylon screws or just use zip ties, which I did before. And, um, secure it in place and then once you do that you're pretty much good to go and there we go it's all set and done and your new riser cable is in place so hopefully this video helped you out if you have any questions feel free to comment below also feel free to like the video if you enjoyed the video and it did help you out in the long run um Feel free to subscribe if you like as well. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you later.